Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're gonna learn about Bootstrap 4 table classes. Now, Bootstrap 4 added new table classes that we can use to build good looking, responsive tables. There are also some changes in the way tables are styled compared to Bootstrap 3, as well as prior releases of Bootstrap 4. So, I'll make sure to point out all the differences and highlight new features. So, I've created this basic HTML table templates without Bootstrap styling. So, all we have to do is apply Bootstrap classes to these tables and watch the magic happen. All right, first, let's go ahead and get the latest version of Bootstrap by going to getbootstrap.com. And let's click on the download button. As you can see, the latest version at the time of making this video is Bootstrap version 4 beta 3. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to Bootstrap CDN, copy the source code and paste it inside of the HTML head tag of our HTML project. And now we're ready to work with Bootstrap. Let's go ahead and apply table classes to see how they work. For a basic table with padded cells and horizontal dividers, we can apply Bootstrap's table class to the table element. Class equals table. And as you can see, this expanded our table by adding a lot more space between the columns with padded cells as well as Horizontal dividers make our table a lot more attractive. Now let's move on to the dark table. You can use the table dash dark class to invert the colors so that it has light text on dark background. Now make sure to keep the original table class that we've created in the first example. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here and add the original table class as well as table dash dark to our table. And now we have a dark table. Now the dark tables are new in Bootstrap 4. Prior to beta 2 release, these required table dash inverse class. And now this class has been replaced with table dash dark in the latest beta release. Now let's move on to the stripe tables. So for alternating background colors on the rows, we can use Bootstrap table dash striped class. Gonna go ahead and add the original table as well and table dash striped. And now we have a cool looking striped table. The next class is called border table. We can use table dash border to add borders all around the table. Let me go ahead and apply the style to the first two tables that we created to see this class in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to our HTML source code and scroll up to the first table and add table dash border to the first table and table dash bordered to our dark table as well. And now, as you can see, NetBeans has added the borders around all the cells as well as the entire table in both of these tables. Now let's move on to table head colors. Let me show you two classes for highlighting table headings. The T head dash dark class adds a black background to the table headers and T head dash light class adds a gray background to the table headers. Now you wanna make sure to apply this class to a T head HTML element instead of the actual table. So first I'm gonna go ahead and apply the basic table class to both tables in which we're going to be using these header classes. And then I'm gonna add T head light to the header and T head dark to the second table header. So let's go back to our HTML source code. Gonna go ahead and add classicals table first and then class equals t head light to the first table header and then i'm going to scroll down here add class equals table and class equals table dark to the second table header going to go ahead and go back to the browser and now you can see that bootstrap has added a light table header and a dark table header to our tables all right, so let's move on to responsive tables now. Now the responsive tables will create horizontal scroll bars when viewed on devices below the given breakpoint. Now, if you wanna learn more about creating responsive layouts, watch my previous video on the Bootstrap 4 grid system. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add table-responsive to our next table here. First, I'm gonna add the original table class and then table-responsive. And now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reduce the window size and as you can see, at a certain breaking point, Bootstrap has added a horizontal bar at the bottom of our table, making it responsive. And that's how responsive tables work. Now, Bootstrap 4 allows you to add the table-responsive classes to the actual table HTML element, while Bootstrap 3 tables require that you add the class 
to a parent div element. So I just wanted to make that clear for you guys. Now let's move on to contextual classes. Now we can use the contextual classes to color table rows or table cells. And as you can see, I've created a table with all the class names along with the corresponding color of that class. So now all we have to do is add these classes to our HTML code to see the result. Starting with the table dash primary, I'm gonna go back to our HTML source code and add class equals table primary to the first table row. I'm also gonna go ahead and add class equals table to the entire table. Next one is table secondary. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all these classes to the table rows right away. Now we want to make sure that we're adding these to our table rows instead of table cells. Even though these also work on table cells if you want to experiment with that. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the browser and I think I've added table secondary to the table cell which is fine and you can see how we can apply these to rows as well as table cells. And that's how contextual classes work. Now in Bootstrap 3 it doesn't use the table dash prefix for its contextual classes. So for example, Bootstrap 3 uses primary without table dash prefix. Other than that, both versions use the same five contextual classes called active, success, info, warning, and danger. Now let's move on to the next class. Uh, for this table, I'd like to show you uh, background utilities to achieve similar effects as we just did on our light table. Because in a dark table, a regular table background variants are not available. However, you may use background classes instead to achieve similar effect. The background classes are darker and have more saturation, making them brighter than regular contextual table classes. And as you can see, I've created a similar HTML table here indicating the class name. So we're gonna go ahead and add these classes to our table and make it dark as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add class equals table and table dash dark to this class, to our table. And then I'm going to go ahead and add bg primary to the first row, primary, bg success, bg warning, and finally, last two class was bg danger and the last one bg info and those are the background classes for dark tables now the last class i wanted to show you guys is called table row hovers and i forgot to demonstrate that one so let's go ahead and go back to our first two tables and apply this table dash hover effect to those tables table hover to the first one and table hover to the second table as well. And you can see that Bootstrap has added this really cool hovering effect when we mouse over our tables. And that's how easy it is to create beautiful tables in Bootstrap 4. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Clever Techie out.